In this video, I'll show you how to add a conditional variation logic to your WooCommerce store. Let's get straight into it. If we select the medium or large, the customer still have the option to choose the cross. However, if we choose a small variant, the user now don't have the option to choose the cross. But when we choose the medium size, they can go ahead and choose the cross fine. We can build more complex logic on top of this particular example, but I just want to keep things super simple and show you how you can utilize this functionality on your WooCommerce store. So if you want to create a similar setup, the first step is to head over to aovup.com. Go ahead and download the AOVOP product add-ons plugin. I'll leave a link in the description below. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. Assuming you've downloaded and installed the AOVO product add-ons plugin. So the first step is to go ahead and create your product. You can skip this step if you've already got a product. So we just go product, add new. Okay, we just fill in the information. So you just enter in your product name, description, just like you would any other WordPress product. But the key difference is where it says product data, we want to actually set this to simple. We can add our base price here if you have one, or you can set it to zero. And then in the next step, we'll go ahead and create our variation to add to this particular product. So for example, this is the pizza example. So as you can see, it's just a standard WooCommerce setup and the product type is a simple product. Okay, um, here where it says regular price, I've put $9 because we want the base selection. So the cheapest variant of this particular product will be $9. We can set this to zero and then later on we can charge extra based on the variant that the user chooses. Okay, so with our base product set up, let's go ahead and create our conditional variations. So we just head over to AOV up and then we'll navigate over to product add-ons. So in your case, you'll go ahead and click this button where it says create option set. Since I've already created one, I'm going to go ahead and edit this particular option set. So essentially we need to name this option set. It's just for internal purposes. And then we get to choose where we want to apply this product. So we can apply it to all products or a specific product or category, right? In this case, I'm just targeting our pizza product, right? So I've selected this option and then I'll just search for the particular product that I want to add this particular option set to. So then we scroll down and you can add various different options, right? So for example, here I've just added our sizing option, right? So here it says choose your size and then they've got three options. So they've got small, medium or large. And when we view the front end, we can see the option set here. Okay, if we expand this, we can see the label is small. And then I've just added a image to go with that label, right? I've set the price to don't change. However, for the medium and the large, Right, we've actually increased the price by $3 and it's a fixed amount. And this is on top of the base price. So the base price is $9 and here we're adding an extra $3 on top of it. So then it would be $12, right? Okay, so we just click add new label or image and then we can just add as many as we want. Once you're happy with everything, just click save. And then essentially you just go ahead and repeat the step by adding a new option. Right, and we can add as many attributes to our product as we need. So another example is, let's say this was a t-shirt example, right? So we could add a color swatch. Okay, we can give it a name. We can say something like choose color, right? And then here we can add the label, right? So we can say red. Yep, so this is a red version. We can add a label as well. We can say red. And then we'll add another selection. And then this time we'll say blue. And we'll just do two for now, right? And then for the label, we can also say blue. But you get the idea. We can, let's say it's going to cost the customer extra to get the blue variant. Then here we can adjust the price accordingly, right? So let's just hit save. And now let's refresh this page. And we should see our color swatch just to give you an idea of what we're actually doing. Okay, so we can see our color swatches here. So as I said, if this was a t-shirt, we'll have the blue, the red and blue variant. And now I'll show you how to implement the conditional logic. Okay, so to add our conditional logic, it's super simple. So I'll quickly show you the process on the front end. So if they choose a small pizza, we're hiding this cross section. So if they choose medium or large, we're displaying the cross selection. However, we're hiding it if they select the small option. All right, so now I'll show you how I've actually created this. Where it says choose your cross, let's go ahead and edit this field and let's head over to conditional logic. And then all we did was enable the conditional logic. And then we created a rule, a display rule that says hide this cross section if these condition matches, right? And here we can select the condition. So we can say hide it if the user selects 
this small pizza and then the field state is set to selected right and then we just hit save like and subscribe for more videos like this and if you've got any questions leave it in the comment box